Hi, everyone. Welcome to day 19 of our 90 days together, diving into what it really looks and feels like living inside the vulnerable, this authentic living that is not necessarily new for all of us, but recognizing what it's like to be in these vulnerable spaces more often than not and allowing others to see this could very well be new for some of us. Um, this week, I want to talk about core values and how we align our core values with our vulnerabilities and our activities. Not just our activities for self-care, but the things we choose to do and the things we have to do, like work, um, things we choose to do, like spending time with people. Uh, or how we spend time with people, or how we spend our time, and certainly with self-care as well, because that's really the core of living inside the vulnerable, is knowing where we are, being aware of our vulnerabilities, and, and the spaces that make us the most comfortable, and the spaces that make us feel a little less comfortable, and allowing others to see us exactly where we are. So, as we align our core values with our vulnerabilities and align those with our activities, if we become a little more aware of how we feed vulnerabilities, where we feed our values, where we feed our soul, where we feed gratitude, or we feed something more negative. So let's dive into that for a little bit. Um, my first suggestion would be to pick what's most important to you as far as your values are concerned. Write down a handful of your most important core values. Integrity, respect, or the loyalty, um, responsibility, accountability, you know, any of those things. That may have been five, I'm not sure. Um, acts of service, what means most to you? And it, it will be different for everyone. We don't all have the same core values. Our level of commitment to our jobs, to our families, to ourselves is, is certainly different um, based on our individual lives and, and our individual purposes. Um, so, if you can, write down a handful of the core values that mean the most to you. And then think about your days and maybe even the coming week and see how you can align those values with your activities. So if one of your core top core values is integrity, how are you placing integrity at the top of your list in your activities. So in your job, in your grocery shopping, in your running errands, in your housework, in your family meals, in whatever activities you do, in your self-care, in your trips to the gym, in your meditation, and whatever you do, in your talks with neighbors, your walks around the neighborhood, how do you fit integrity into those activities? And pay attention to how often integrity comes up in your mind when you think of those things you do. Again, I mentioned integrity because it was just, obviously, it's one of my top core values. But any values, you don't have to say integrity. How do your values line up with your activities? Are you saying, um, you know, quality time with my family is my top core value and I fit that in every day? And then sitting at the dinner table with your cell phone, scrolling through news headlines while your kids eat dinner and talk about the gossip that's going on at their school. You know, do those things align? Or are you saying, you know, spending quality time with my family is my core value and dinner is not the time we do it um, because everybody eats on the run and we all eat different things and so-and-so's got soccer practice and we're all eating in the car while they're playing and 
So dinner is just not the time that I do that. So yeah, I have my phone in my hand because it's the only time I can read the headlines. <laughs> We're not here to judge. So how are you getting that quality time? Maybe your quality time is just, you know, first thing in the morning as you're getting everybody ready for school. I used to stay with my favorite. It used to, used to annoy me because I hated the mundane task of it. But one of my favorite moments of my day in when my kids were really little, when they were all under the age of 10, was first thing in the morning on school days. And I would stand at my kitchen counter and I had three lunch boxes lined up and I would make their lunches for them. And it, you know, the, the mundane, monotonous activity of making sandwiches and washing fruit and cutting up and slicing and, you know, whatever, um, making three different meals for kids who were probably just going to throw them away or bring them home in a messy lunchbox, half rotten and half eaten hours later, was not the fun part of that morning. But the fun part of that morning was having the three of them sit on the other side of the island, eating their breakfast and engaging. So we were still doing things. They were eating. I was preparing their food, but we were all together in the same shared space. And it was time for songs and dances and jokes and silliness and fun. And sometimes it was time for some more serious conversations. And looking back now, my oldest is almost 18. Um, so this was, you know, almost 10 years ago and, and longer. I would say that that was my most favorite part of my day with my kids because it was calm. It was quiet. We may have been rushed. We may have been, you know, if I break down every school morning of all those years, I'm sure there were days where, you know, I was in pajamas and, and rushing them out the door and, and thinking, oh, my goodness, I just went out of the house in my pajamas and it's cold. And did they forget this? And they left their science project on the kitchen counter and whatever. I'm sure there were I know there were stressful moments. But looking back in this distance, I can say that of all those years with my kids in that in those elementary years, that was my favorite time with them. And it was when I I think my core values aligned with that activity most because I got to spend time with my family. We got to talk about things, holidays and, and meanings behind um, words and, and holidays and people. And when we would have some really deep talks, religion, politics, um, they, would, they were just good moments. I would say those are the moments in those years that aligned most with my core values. And... Yeah, so yours might be different. I brought up dinner earlier, but it that wasn't to judge whether or not you bring your cell phone to the dinner table. Sometimes that's the only time we all get to scroll our cell phones. So have at it if that's what you do. But think about your activities this week and think about them today. And how do your activities align with your core values? We're going to piggyback on that tomorrow a little bit and talk about core values aligning with our vulnerabilities and how we can tap into those values to kind of live in this space of vulnerabilities without compromising who we are, hopefully. Anyway, make it a great day. I hope it's beautiful for everyone. Take care.